Okay, so we start the next video, seven examples, four, five, six, okay? Textbook page 209 to 211. No test for this also. Example four, let me read this on page 209, class 10 maths. From a point P on the ground, the angles of elevation of the top of a 10 meter, 10 meter tall building is 30 degree. A flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation of the top of the flagstaff from this point P is 45 degree. Find the length of the flagstaff and the distance of the building from the point P. You may take root 3 as 1.732. So there is a building here, okay? So clearly there is a building. This is the building and on top of the building there is a flagstaff. AB is the flex stick, let us say, flex stuff, C. At a point P here from the ground, here, P, person look at the top of the building, okay? I think the building is mm, 10 meter tall, so this is 10 meter. And his eye is P, so horizontal line through his eye, and line of sight is PB, looking at the top of the building, it was 30 degree. Then he looked from the same point, he looked at the top of the flag stuff put on the top of the building B and the elevation was 45 degree. Okay, and the question is saying find the height length of the flag stuff AB and the distance of this point P from the building PC. Okay, find the length and distance of the building from the point P. So we can write here, this is your 90 degree. So in the figure, let's just write down what we want to find out. AB is question mark, is the length of the flex stuff, okay? Length of the flex stuff. Then B, uh, PC is also question mark, distance, okay? Distance of the building from the point P. Distance of the building from the point uh, P. Okay, I think the question is asking us to use the diagram on the question. So let us just use here P and they used here A, okay? P, A and then B and D. So this is B. That is correct. B and this one is D. Top is D. So this one, DB will be the length of the flex stuff and PA so this one is supposed to be A sorry PA so this let's just change it to PA okay slight change so now these are the two values you need to find out and then uh, AB equal to 10 meter is the height of the building height of the building let us do slowly it's just do it casual a little bit informally by doing slowly you will understand it next here <coughs> angles of elevation there are two of them elevation of the top of the building is angle b p a is equal to 30 degree and the other one angle d p a the elevation of the top of the flex stick is d is 45 degree with this we have to find out this flex stuff and this one. Now this right triangle has one side CPA 10 so we can start with that because if we have one side it's easy to find any side of that triangle in right triangle PAB if you may write like that. Now before we go they are saying root 3 you take 1.732 we can take root 3 as 1.732 keep that in mind. Then next here BA is known we want to find PAC so the unknown quantity that one will first find out is easier thing by the given quantity AB or BA here 10 meter. So that is here PA is adjacent by opposite is cot and the angle is 30 degree. So we write here PA by AB as you can see here 10 meter. So you put that value here 10 meter. Cot 30 is root 3. So PA will be 10 root 3 meter because it will go up and multiply that right let's keep that for a moment and equation number one and then go to the now we have one side pa which is the common side of the other big one also now so the big one also has now one side because of this 
So you can easily find out this one here, AD now. And AD minus BA then will give you the height, length of the flex stuff. See, we now have this one. So big triangle also we can do now. In right triangle, DAP or PAD. DAP. DAP. Okay. We want to find this DA. Full length by PA. Opposite by adjacent is 10 and the angle is 45 degrees. So we may write that. Next here, DA by PA, just now we got 10, root 3, 10, 45 this one. So DA is 10 root 3 meter. So you can write your since using equation number 1. We got this PA value replaced by 10 root 3. That's what we mean to say. So now we have DA means, we can just write this one as equation number uh, 2. Now we want this one, so just write there DB. It's nothing but DA minus AB. DA full minus AB is this flex stuff, DB. So that is DA is 10 root 3 minus 10. And meter, meter, you can take it out as common. And you can write your sins using equations here, 10 root 3 is from equation 2. And 10 is coming from this one, AB equal to 10 meter, given in the question that means. So we may write equation singular, one equation we're using. So these two here you can take out common, 10 outside means 10 into root 3 minus 1 meter, see here, 10, 10 outside. So this length of the flex stuff also you found out, so just put this one as equation number 3. And finally write down here, therefore, here. Mm. First, they're asking the length of flex stuff, so we can just write there length of the flex stuff, which is nothing but <coughs> here db. We found it out 10 into root 3 minus 1 meter since using equation number 3. Right, but they are asking us to use root 3 value and replace 1.732. So we do that 10 into 1.732 minus 1. So that calculation you can do in the last part like this. So 1.732 and then 1 means 0 0.000 minus and plus here minus in front and here no sign means plus. So subtract plus and minus means subtract 1 minus 1 0. So 0. Point 732 meter. When this decimal is multiplied by 10, it will shift one place to the right. So 7.32 meter approximately. Right? And the length of the flex stuff. Then the next one. Okay, they are asking us distance of the building from the point P. Distance of the building. Distance of the building from the point P, which is nothing but PA will be equal to here, 10 root 3. So we write your 10 root 3 meter. Write your since using equation number 1. Then next, here we get here, 10 into root 3 means we have to put 1.732 meter. 1, 0, so the decimal shift right again, 1 place, so between 7 and 3, 17.32 meter approximately. The distance of the building from the point P. These two answers here, 1, and this one, length of the flex stuff. Okay, example 4. Now let us go to example 5. Example 5, which is found on textbook page. Okay, example 5. Let us go and check, where is it? Five is on page two one zero two hundred and ten. Okay, let me read the question for us. The shadow of a tower standing, okay. The shadow of a tower standing on the top of a 
Uh, the shadow of a tower standing on a level ground is found to be 40 meters longer when the sun's altitude is 30 degrees than when the sun's altitude is uh, 60 degrees. Find the height of the tower. So the tower is here. So this is the tower, let us say AB. A, B. So the sun is somewhere here shining. So at one instant, the sun ray cannot pass through this portion. So it brushed through the top and at one point of time, this altitude of the sun was 60. That's the meaning of altitude of the sun, the shadow striking the ground at a particular time, making that angle with the ground. That is called the altitude of the sun. Okay. Now, so the length of the shadow is at that time is BC. Then the sun seems to be going down because the shadow is becoming longer. At another point of time, the shadow has become longer, increased by 40 meters. When the sun ray has struck like this, the angle was 30 degree. Question is saying, find the height of the tower. That means this tower AB. So here. Okay, sun. Now, once you're through with that, maybe you can just draw it for your own understanding. Otherwise, it's not necessary. Now, here, in the figure, let us write down. A, B, we need to find out is the height of the tower. Height of the tower, okay? Then, B, C, let's keep it simple, is going to length of the shadow, okay? Shadow on the ground. When the sun's altitude, okay, sun's altitude is 60 degree at a point of time. Then this one here, BD, though we don't need, we'll just write like this, it makes it easier for us. BD is equal to the length of the shadow when the sun's altitude is 30 degree. So now let us find out the next one, CD. So we write here CD is equal to 40 meter. We write here 40 meter. This is nothing but length by which, okay, the length by which the shadow at 60 degree, okay, the shadow at 30 degree, which is BD, the longer shadow, the length of the shadow BD is longer than shadow, the shadow, shorter one, BC. So CD is simply the distance by which the longer shadow is longer than the shorter. That's the meaning. Then every data is given, you need to find AB. So let us just start with the small right triangle, ABC. So let's just write here. Okay, we put BC on the numerator. On a denominator also, okay, but this is going to be easier for you by AB. Why? Because we want to find AB. We are not asking for BC. So we want to shift AB to the right so we can use in the next equation. So that is best by opposite. That is called angle is 60 degrees. So that is BC by AB will be 1 by root 3. Called 60 is root 3. 1 by root 3, sorry. So that gives you BC will be, don't move that, AB will go up. A B by root 3. So when you put it like this on the right side, now you can put insert this A B term into the next equation because it should appear in the next equation in order to find the value of A B. We don't need B C. So we just put it on the left side, which is not absolute rule, but we, I find it that way easier. The next right triangle, if you put A B by B C also, you'll get it. Okay, in right triangle, A B D, A B D, we want to find a B, put it by this one here, B, BD. So we write the BD. That is here opposite by adjacent. So that is 10. And the angle this time is 30 degree. So do slowly. A, B don't change because we want to find that C, height of the tar. By BD, we can change to BC plus CD. 1 by root 3. And continue doing it. That implies A, B by BC, wait for some time, plus CD is, we can put 40 meter, 1 by root 3. 
since we know CD is given in the question 40 meter. Here you see, CD is 40 meter. Now, can we do something about this? Yes, see here. This can be replaced by this, and everything will become BC replaced by AB by root 3 means everything becomes AB on the left side. So now we're going to get AB very easily. That's why we put the AB on the right side, so that we can insert this AB by root 3 there. And everything becomes AB, easy to calculate for AB. So this is AB by root 3. As you can see here, BC replaced by AB by root 3. Plus 40. Make sure this is slightly longer. Equal there. Should be here at the longer line point. Okay. And write your sins using equation number 1. We have replaced the BC by AB by root 3 here by using equation 1. So let us deal with this part first, AB, long line by, here AB plus root 3 into 40, 40 root 3. Long line because you have multiplied up to here, longer than this, okay, this should be longer than this, by LCM is root 3. This portion we are doing, okay, here. Equal should be at the long line point, this should be longer, 1 by root 3. Now when, after the long line has come, this division sign long line can be changed to multiplication, then down root 3 will go and multiply AB, so root 3 AB, it will go up. And up AB plus 40 root 3 will come down, AB plus 40 root 3. So you read there, AB plus 40 root 3. So this has gone up, this has come down. This one will remain same. Now it's easy, root 3 into root 3, means 3 AB, cross multiply, then equal sign, AB ones are AB, plus 40 root 3 into 1, 40 root 3, okay. So here maybe we could have put meter, okay, so here meter, here meter, so here also meter, meter, okay. So let us do that, then bring the ABs on one side, terms containing AB here, 3AB, and plus AB come this side, minus AB equal to 40 root 3. 3AB three minus 1AB is like 3 mangoes minus 1 mango, which is 2 mangoes or 2AB equal to 40 the root 3 and meter, don't forget here. So that gives you AB equal to 40 root 3, okay, 40 root 3 is going to be divided by, this 2 will come down, meter. So 2, 2 is 4, 0, so 20 root 3 meter is the height of the tower here. So 20 root 3 meter. Then here you can finally write down height of the tower. This portion you write below the space here. I don't have space I'm writing here. Height therefore height of the tower which is comma a B is 20 root 3 meter as we got it just now here in the last step. That's your answer. One more example before we close this video. Then example 6, okay, textbook, page 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. So let us go there. Read the question for us. Example 6, page 211. Okay. Okay, the angles of depression of the top and the bottom of an 8 meter tall building from the top of a multi-story building are 30 and 45 degree. Okay. Find the height of the multi-story building and the distance between the two buildings. This question is quite easy if you follow this trick. Look here. There is an 8 meter tall building. So let us say this is the 8 meter tall building. Okay, let us just put it this way. 8 meter tall building. Okay, so here this is the AB, let us say. There is a um, multi story building, this shorter building, taller multi story building here, and the depression of the top of the, from the multi story building. There is a person standing here, he look at the top of the shorter building, 8 meter. They didn't say shorter, but how do we know shorter? Because depression means person is looking down from multi story to the 8 meter tall building, and surely the 8 meter tall building is shorter, right? Because 
it's below the eye level of the person on the top of the multi-story building. So this is the level that I say. So this depression here was 30 degrees. Then from the same position, the person also look at the bottom of the same building, the foot of the building. So join his eye to where he's looking. This one, and this depression was 45 degrees. So if you draw a horizontal line here through his eye, then this alternate angle transfer here 30 degrees. And here 45 means here transfer 45 degrees. Let us complete it. D, E, A, B, C, D, E. So the question is asking us to find the height of the multi-story building EC. So we can just write here in the figure that we have drawn just now. EC is the question mark, let us say. Okay, H is the question mark. Is the mm, find the height of the multi-story building and the distance between the two buildings. So this also we have to find out. BC also. Hmm. Height of the multi-story building. Multi-story building. And then we have to find BC question mark. Let's try to use the same language, distance between the two buildings. Shorter and multi-story building distance between the two buildings. These two we have to find out. So let us write the quantities given now from now on. A B. Let us start with that. A B. Okay, A B is equal to eight meter. This is the height of the uh, mentioned first. Okay, so first building. I just put your first building because it's mentioned first in the question. Means the shorter also you can put. Then uh, next one here, angles of depression. So we write here angles of depression. Means the person is standing on the top of the is on the top of the multi-story building and looking down. His eyes here see down. So first one is X A X E A. So let us write it down. Angle X E A is equal to E A D angle E A D equal to 30 degree. Then the next angle of depression is angle here. He look at the bottom now. X E B. X E B. Uh, just write slowly. X E B equal to E B C. Angle E B C equal to 45 degree. These are the two angles of depression. With this, we need to find out E C and B C. Now let us do this first. E C is nothing but E D plus D C, and D C is already there. So just write down A B equal to D C, because you know opposite sides of a uh, rectangle are equal to each other. And see A, B, C, D is a rectangle, so A, B and D, C are opposite side. So therefore, these two, which are equal, both of them will be equal to 8 meter, equation number one. Because A, B is already 8 meter given in question. So we know A, D, C is now 8, we just need to find E, D to find the height of the multi-story building. So how do we do that? Now the idea will come from here, listen carefully. Take the next triangle, uh, one triangle. In right triangle EBC or ECB, this one EBC. Let us just take here EC by BC, opposite by adjacent 10. Angle there is 45 degrees C, 45 degree. So that will be EC by BC. You'll get it once we do this. So when it is 45, the two sides are always equal, these two. But not only that, look here now. BC is also equal to AD because of the same reason, opposite sides. Opposite sides of a rectangle are always equal to each other. Therefore, EC equal BC, BC equal to AD means C, come on. Therefore, all this will be equal, EC will be equal to BC already equal to this also AD. So this is like, it will be, Look here now, this is like 
EC disease. This is also you learn to see. EC here and learn to see here. These are all EC now. Height of the multi-storey building because they are equal. EC, BC, AD. EC, BC, AD. Learn to see EC, EC, EC. As soon as you see BC and AD, learn to see that it is EC itself because they are equal. So let us just put this one as equation number two because we're going to need it. Now take the other right triangle. So in right triangle, here, I'll write you ED by AD. Yeah, sorry, AED. Let's just write the triangle first. ADE or AED or whatever, ADE. Here, ED, let us write down ED by AD. So I write you AD is equal to opposite by adjacent. So that is 10. And the angle is 30 degrees here, 30 degrees. The small triangle we're taking. So as we continue doing this, next year, just give here, that implies ED, you can write it as EC minus DC. See, ED is EC, I want to involve that because that's the height we're searching for, minus DC. Because we already know DC, that's why I'm putting 8, we can put there. By AD, so I'll just write here. AD equal to 10, 30 is 1 by root 3. That way, we can just write EC minus DC is 8 meter divided by AD, 1 by root 3. And you can write your since using equation number 1. We got the value here, DC replaced by 8. Then here, we can do something about ED also because we know that it's already EC, AD you see here. AD, BC, EC equal means these two are equal to EC, so it can be replaced by this AD can be replaced by EC. That way it match up with this one. That's why we're doing this, right? So that will be equal to 1 by root 3. And you write your sins using equation number this one, 2. Then we write here, okay, now. You can just write this one, root 3 into EC is root 3, EC minus 8 into root 3 is 8 root 3 meter, cross multiplying it, and EC into 1, EC, uh, this multiply this two. we get this, this multiply this, after equal, then we get that one. So next, here, bring the terms containing EC on one side, so here, root 3, EC, minus EC because plus EC come to left side and becomes minus minus 8 root 3 go that side to right side from left then become plus 8 root 3 meter so we bring the terms containing EC all on one side and the other things on the other side then EC is common so you can write your root 3 minus 1 EC one side EC 8 root 3 meter next year EC therefore will be 8 root 3 divided by this into here so this factor bracket factor will come to the denominator and meter we shouldn't forget to put now as we have been learning previously also this is called the mixer so in order to rationalize or remove the root sign from the mixer the technique is slightly different from the pure cert and we know we have to multiply by conjugate conjugate of root 3 minus 1 is root 3 plus 1 up and down same so we multiply by the conjugate then the root will get removed as we will see next soon. So here, 8 into, and then root 3 into root, okay, 8 into, then root 3 into root 3 is 3, plus root 3 into 1 is, so we're just keeping 8 outside and multiply root 3 to this, 3, and root 3 into 1, root 3, divided by here, and then here meter, sorry, divided by a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square, okay? Then meter, this one can go ahead behind this one. And continue to do this. Then we will get here. Okay, let's just continue from here then. So here therefore, that implies, okay, that will be equal to rather, 8 into 3 plus, and then the value of root 3 they have given us, I think, to use. No, they just left it like that. So let's just leave it like that hmm? so 3 into 3 plus root 3 divided by root 3 square is 3 minus 1 square is 
1. So 3 minus 1 you're going to get. So that is 8 into 3 plus root 3 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8. So we got here 4 into 3 plus root 3 meter. EC is now we found out this much. 4 into 3 plus root 3. And you can close the bracket if you want. That, that much meter. Therefore, looking at this equation here, you can write EC will be equal to BC, will be equal to AD. All of this will be equal to this value that we found out just now. 4 into 3 plus root 3 meter. This is the value. So next, we can write down finally. Therefore, height of the multi-story building height of the multi storied building which is nothing but here EC as you can see so you can write here since using equation number whatever was here equation number uh, what is that you just write it down okay from your note that is EC equal to BC equal to AD what equation number you put that one you write down, okay? Then, once you're writing that, since using a question, then continue to do it. EC is equal to 4 into 3 plus root 3. Just now we got here, see? EC. And then, okay? Distance between the two buildings. So right here. Distance between the two buildings which is nothing but here this one we took bc is equal to just now again same value 4 into 3 plus root 3 and don't forget to put your meter second answer first answer okay